Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ronnie de Guzman, and our topic for today is solving a right triangle given the length of one leg and measure of one acute angle. This is for grade 9, quarter 4. In this tutorial math video highlights the third case of solving right triangles wherein the length of one leg and measure of one acute angle are given. The figure below shows the example of this case. So we have the triangle P and G. So the given is one leg and the angle G or we will name that as theta. So for the three size, we have NG hypotenuse is missing and P one of the legs is given. And PG is one of the length is missing. For three angles, we have angle M, an acute angle is missing. While angle P is the right angle, which is given. And angle G, an acute angle, is given as well. So, for the third case, the missing parts are the hypotenuse, one of its legs, and its acute angle. Our exercise, so let's consider the triangle on the right side. So we have triangle ATM. And angle T is equal to 30 degrees. And AN or side T is equal to 26. So T is equal to 26, one of the legs. Measure of angle T is equal to 32. So that is one of the acute angles. In order to find the measure of angle M, remember that angle T plus angle M is equal to 90 degrees because they are actually complementary angles. Recall that the measure of angle T plus measure of angle M is equal to 90 degrees because of the definition of complementary angles. If I subtract both sides of the equation by the measure of angle T, so I have measure of angle M is equal to 90 minus the measure of angle T. So therefore, measure of angle T is simply 32. Substitute that. So we have therefore, measure of angle M is equal to 50. Let's move on to the next exercise. This time, let's find the side M or that is the side TA. So by looking at the figure, side M is the adjacent to angle T and side T is the opposite to angle T. To solve M, use TOA that is tangent opposite adjacent. So again, tangent T is equal to opposite all over adjacent. However, the opposite is the side T and the adjacent is side n. Substitute further that the angle uh, t is equal to 32, t is equal to 26, and m is unknown. If we will, if we will multiply both sides of the equation by m, so I'll come up with m times tangent 32 is equal to 26. Since I'm looking for the value of m, I'll divide both sides of the equation by 32, so I'll come up with m is equal to 26 all over tangent 32 using our calculator so just simply press 26 all, all over tangent 32 and equal sign so m is equal to 41.61 units correct to two decimal places so let's continue with our exercise so this time find a or that is the hypotenuse or that is the line segment tn so by looking at the figure side a or the hypotenuse, and the side T is the opposite of angle T. So this is the side T, is 26, which is opposite to angle T. So we will use the so, so that is sine opposite hypotenuse. Again, the sine T is equal to opposite all over hypotenuse. So that is T all over A, but the value of angle T is 32, and T, side T is equal to 26 all over A. If I'll multiply both sides of the equation by A, I'll come up with A sine 32 is equal to 26. And divide both sides of the equation by sine 32, so I'll come up with A is equal to 26 all over sine 32. Using our scientific calculator, so A is equal to 49.06 units. So that ends our discussion on solving right triangle. Again, this is Teacher Onin Guzman. Do not 
forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.